Hello everyone. Today I'm going to present you with an Excel program to do your bookkeeping job in a very easy, efficient and accurate way. Unlike most Excel bookkeeping solutions, this program doesn't have any formulas and compared to accounting software, it's very easy to learn, use and maintain. It only requires double entry knowledge and allows you to trace every transaction and produce financial reports. This program is designed to simulate the way you do your bookkeeping on paper. It starts with double entry transactions to the general journal, posting the journal to the account ledger, running a trial balance, and generating the profit and loss statement and balance sheet. The only thing you need to do is use double entry to record transactions in the design form. The rest is automatically done by a simple click of a button. In this video, I will demonstrate how this bookkeeping program works. This is a sample file with some transactions supported already. To enter a new transaction, you click on this button. The double entry form will pop up. Select the month and date. Say we record a cash sale. You need to select the asset account for the debit side. And say the amount is $110. Then we need to select the income account for the credit side. Select $100 to sales. And GC collected of $10. We'll also enter the reference and description. After all the data is typed in, click confirm to record it. Then we'll save and exit. This is a profit and loss statement and balance sheet that was last run. You can run the trial balance if you click on this button. Now we'll run the financial reports by clicking this button. Select the period for the reports to run. This window will ask you to save the report file. You can now see that the profit and loss statement and balance sheet are updated. Now we'll close this file and open the bookkeeping file. We can export all the transactions for this workbook by clicking this button. Let's select the year total. We'll type in a file name to save it. This support allows you to check and analyse each account. For example, you can sort your cash at bank account so it can reconcile it with your bank statement. Let's start from scratch. Open the empty template file first. If there's a security warning, click this button to allow the program to run. This is Excel 2010. There are different settings for different versions of Excel. Now you will see that the profit and loss statement and balance sheet are both empty. Before you start recording any transactions, you need to set up the chart of accounts. First, right click the mouse to unprotect the sheets for assets, liabilities and equity. I have already set up some accounts as an example. You can use your latest profit and loss statement and balance sheet as a reference to set up the accounts. At this stage, you can amend, delete, or add in any account. Once you start recording transactions, you can no longer amend or delete an existing account. However, you can still add new accounts at any time by inserting new rows. We will show you this later. There are two things you should be aware of. Firstly, there are some cells and rows highlighted in yellow. You cannot change these. Secondly, each account number must be unique. The first digit indicates the account type, followed by a four digit account number. And then this is followed by a letter. They should be listed in ascending order. The account numbers for current assets and liabilities are less than 4,900, while non current assets are over 5,000. The account numbers for income generated as part of the normal business operations are less than 4,900. Non operational income account numbers are over 5,000. If this is not set up correctly, the profit and loss statement will not be accurate. After you set up your accounts, you'll need to enter the opening balance for each account. This is a very simple balance sheet. 
Let's say we start using this program from October 2016. The balance sheet needs to be on the end of September. We need to be aware of any account where the debit balance should be entered as a positive amount. So we have cash at bank of 1000, accounts receivable of 500, inventory 500, motor vehicles 10,000, and accumulated depreciation of 2000. Since this is a credit, it should be entered as a negative amount. Liabilities have a credit balance too, that should be entered as a negative amount. So we have accounts payable of 1000 and loans payable of 4000 And then the funds of 10000 So retained profits, here we have an accumulated loss. It is a debit balance, so it should be entered as a positive amount. Now we can run the trial balance. There is no warning, so we can run the financial reports. Let's choose the view total. And save this as report opening. Now you can see that the balance sheet is exactly like the sample. And you will see the profit and loss statement is empty because we do not have any transactions recorded yet. Once you've set up the accounts and opening balances, you can start recording transactions. We'll click this button to open the double entry form. We're going to start using this program from October. We'll select October as a month and a date as the first. Say we purchase some inventory with cash. On the debit side is cost of goods sold. The purchase account of $100 and GST paid of $10. We'll credit our bank account with $110. Then the reference and description for this transaction. If there is GST involved, we can only enter one amount for either the GST paid or GST collected. If you type in one box, the other box will be automatically cleared. All other input boxes must be filled in. Let's delete the date. You will see the date input box is highlighted. You have to correct it before you can proceed. This program also checks if the debit and credit amounts balance. Let's click confirm now. You will see the value balances are highlighted, so it's not balanced. We'll correct this by entering the GST paid. Now we can confirm the transaction. For the second transaction, we're going to record a cash sale on the 2nd of October. The debit side will be an asset, a cash at bank account, with a value of $220. On the credit side is income, sales of goods of $200, and GST collected of $20. For the third one, let's say we pay for advertising on October the 3rd. On the debit side of expenses, advertising account, $50, and GST paid of $5. We credit our bank account with Next, let's say we received rental income October the 4th. On the debit side is asset, bank account of $220. On the credit side is rental income of $200. And GST currency of $20. For the last transaction, let's say we want to record an expense for a subscription. But we don't have an account for it. Let's cancel an exit. We'll unprotect the expense sheet 
insert a row after motor vehicle expense. And we'll create an account for subscription. Then we'll go back to the entry form. We'll say on October the 6th, and debit the expense subscription account. $50. We'll see pay the $5. On the credit side is assets. Cash on hand of $55. So we'll save and exit. Now we can see all the data we've just entered is recorded in this sheet. In the first worksheet, we can click this button to run the file balance. There is no warning, so it's balanced. We can have a look at the trial sheet to check the balance. Now we'll go back to the first sheet to run the reports. Let's choose October here. We'll save this report as a report, October 2016. From this file, you can see the balance sheet and profit and loss statement are updated according to the transactions we've just entered. All the transactions used to generate these reports are on the relevant worksheets. Let's close this report file now and open the bookkeeping file. Now we can export the journals by clicking this button. We'll save this exported file as Export October 2016. This file has the same format as you would do with bookkeeping on paper. From this file you can check and analyse the journals and all active ledger accounts. So this is it. It's as simple as that. I hope you like this video. This video is for Australian version. We have versions for all major English speaking countries, including the US, UK, Canada and New Zealand. If you'd like to try this program, please email us at excel.simplesolutions at gmail.com. We will send this program so you can try it out for yourself. You will love it. Thank you.